General Whitgate, who was the commander-in-chief of the British forces on this hill, was not a very fit man. In fact, he had to be helped several times on his climb up this hill during the night. During the heat of the battle, he was called to this part of the British trench line by a fellow officer who pointed out to him and said, look, sir, the Boers are coming across. As he lifted himself to have a look, he was hit on the right-hand side of his face by a piece of shrapnel or a bullet, we're not sure which. But he fell mortally wounded on this very spot. He became the third British general to die in action in this war.